Thank you. Ms. Blakely? Thank you, Chairman Issa, Congressman Cummings, Congresswoman Elmas. Uh, I'm delighted to be here testifying today. My name is Marion Blakey, and I'm the President and CEO of the Aerospace Industries Association. I'm here representing the 345 member companies of aerospace and defense industry and their 800,000 U.S. workers. We want to express our grave concerns about the provisions contained in the draft executive order regarding political contributions. Through our member companies, we represent thousands of small businesses across the nation, and I am particularly offering their voice today. As written, the draft EO would for the first time introduce political contributions into the government contracting process. It is unclear how that information will be used by a contracting officer in the source selection process. This creates the possibility that donations to a particular political party or candidate would be a consideration when evaluating contract proposals, whether specifically intended or not. This also might have the unfortunate consequence of contributing to the belief among some that particular political contributions are a requirement for winning contracts. Political contributions should never be considered by any procurement officer when making a decision to either award or deny a contract to an entity. In order to comply with this executive order, any company bidding on the Federal contract would have to develop, implement, and maintain a system to track and record all personal political contributions to include retroactive contributions upon implementation. This will also result in an additional cost burden that in most cases will be reflected in higher contractor overhead rates. This is particularly challenging for small companies such as those in the extensive aerospace supplier base who don't have a large corporate infrastructure to meet new Federal mandates. Furthermore, the certification requirement places an undue risk on small companies in the event that any of their directors, officers, affiliates, subsidiaries would perhaps provide inaccurate or even incomplete information. If the company's submission for the contract contains a list of donors that is incomplete, even though the company tried fully to comply, they may find themselves in an expensive legal proceeding for violation of both Title 18 and Title 31 of the U.S. Code for making false claims or statements. Smaller companies that can't afford to defend themselves in these situations may instead opt to avoid government contracting altogether. The resulting impact is not necessarily restricted to small companies. The imposition of disclosure and certification requirement would also result in large and medium-sized commercial businesses opting out of selling to the Federal Government, potentially leaving the Government without access to technologies and services necessary for its mission. This is a real liability in the aerospace and defense arena, where our defense industrial base has shrunk and there may be only one or two supplies for a particular technology critical to protecting our fighting men and women. Requirements already exist, as has been pointed out, to ensure transparency of political contributions. Those requirements apply evenly across the board for all individuals and organizations that make political contributions. AIA and its member companies support efforts to ensure there is greater transparency and accountability in the Federal contracting arena. However, we do not support actions which would introduce politics into that arena, increase the regulatory burden and risk for companies, or infringe upon the constitutional rights of a particular segment of corporate citizenry. As I stated earlier, Political contributions should never be considered by any procurement officer when making a decision to either award or deny a contract to any entity. Not levying this requirement on companies to report such contributions to the procurement officer is one important way to safeguard against the risk that any such consideration would ever be given. Thank you very much.